make up your own doctrine. That's right. And that's exactly what happened. Amen. Like the Catholic Church did. Yeah. They made up purgatory. <laughs> that's right. Whoever heard you don't become a saint until you die. My Lord. Man, if you can't become a saint till you die, I'm through with you. I'm through, I'm through, I'm through. with you. Yeah. I'm going to hook up with C-Rock. Where's Rock? That's right. I'm going to hook up with C-Rock and tell him, hey, look, take me one of one of y'all boring Boston clubs down here. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to go Bostonian on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? That's right. Why? Because, hey. If I can be a saint after I'm dead, after. it don't matter how I live now. Amen. Such rubbish teaching. Amen. If you're not a saint and master the life that God commands you to live, yeah. while you're alive, when you die, you're going to burn in hell. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Every one of you has a doctrine. So doctrine and religious teachings are made up. Oh, yes. Like the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. Elijah Muhammad died from bronchitis <laughs> and other physical complications in yeah. 1975. Yeah. Farrakhan come along and say, Elijah is not dead. He's on a spaceship. Wow. Called a mothership. <laughs> wow. Circling the earth. Amen. Man, Elijah is dead. He's dead. He said once in a while, he's on the mothership. She's beamed up. <laughs> my Lord. Lord, my Lord. Like Star Trek. <laughs> That's right. Kirk telling Scotty, Scotty, give me some more me power. Some more. Scotty <laughs> said, I'm working as fast <laughs> as I can, sir. That's right. That's so right. So Farrakhan says he hangs out once in a while with Elijah Muhammad. My Lord, my Lord. Up there on the mothership. Mm. And you got thousands of black victims yeah. that believe this ignorance. That's right. That Master Farad Muhammad was God. He was not God. No. How in the world he gonna be God and the earth was here before he was born? That's right. If you're God, why would you have a birth date? That's right. So I said, you preach Jesus was God. I ain't talking about no flesh. Not the flesh. That flesh that Mary birthed wasn't God. That's right. What was in that flesh was God. That's it. That's right. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Every one of you has a doctrine. So they have a doctrine. That's a doctrine. And this is why the human race is confused. Because nobody Go ahead, man. is telling the people, yeah. believe what the scripture said. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's why we hold the Bible in front of you. Yeah. And then the ignorant come along. Well, Pastor Jenner, ain't got confidence in the Bible either, dog. <laughs> because I feel as though, dog, that a bunch of white Europeans who ain't had nothing to do, dog, yeah. they got together and wrote the Bible. You know, dog, you dumb dog. Knowing this first. <laughs> Look at your stupidity. Look at it. It ain't no man. Look at it. No man will write a religious book that's against him. No way. If a man write a religious book, that man is going to make every loophole for himself. That's right. To do whatever he wants to do. That's right. No sin will be spoken against. No way. That's why you think folks want to be Mormons. Mm -hmm. Because there's no boundary on sexual activity. That's right. You can, as a man, you can have unlimited wives. Amen. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do you hear this, every man? What then? What then? Every one of you has a doctrine. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Solomon. How is it then, brethren? Hey, 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 brothers. When ye come together. You viewers out there. Amen. All of you watching me now, millions around the world, you in some religion. That's right. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided. Did God start your religion? Hmm. Did God tell you to practice what you are? Right. Did God told you to burn them incense? Did God tell you to bow to that big belly bald head statue named Buddha? That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Did God tell you to do that? Did God tell you to pack your head, both sides of the chest, in the back of your navel, and say the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, three, three, or one, three, what? That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. How Did is God it? tell you to do that? Mm -hmm. How is it? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When you come together. When you come, did God tell you to flip cars and get advice from the Torah? That's right. Did God tell you to go visit a little shop where it got a hand and an eye in the middle of the hand and get some good luck from Sister Troy? <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
How is it then? How brother? is it then? When you come together. How is it then? How is it? When you come together. Every one of you has a song. And some folks so arrogant. Well, I don't practice no religion. I serve God my way. You know you's a fool. Do you That's do mathematics your way? <laughs> That's right. Or do you got to do mathematics according to the mathematical equation That's to it. get the right answer? That's right. You got to do this God way to get the right answer. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. There is no freelancing. No. In God. Oh, no. He's a God of order. That's He's right. a God of rules. He's a God of guidelines. That's right. What you think God is? <laughs> you thank you so much that, well, I serve God my way. I just freelance him. I don't see nothing wrong with this. I don't see nothing wrong with that. What may be a sin to you yes. may not be a sin to me. You're right. You're right. You're That's right, why God didn't leave it to you That's to right. start religion. That's right. All of you that think that way, that that's why God don't trust no man. No. To start religion. No way. You would live together, not marry. Yeah. A hoe would be with Joe. That's right. Joe with his hoe. That's living right. together and not marry. That's and right. And Joe won't go. Joe stay with his hoe. They live together, not marry. That's right. And when I tell Joe you got to go, Joe said, oh, no. <laughs> that's right. Glory to God. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? All the ways of a man are clean. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 2. Hear the Bible talking. All the ways of a man. All the ways. All the ways of a man. Of a man. Are clean. All right. Well, in, in his own eyes. How? In his own eyes. You mean to tell me you thank God in his great intelligence. That's right. Master of creation. Yeah. Master of the day of judgment. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's so loose in his belief, he allow you human family to roam like vagabonds. That's right. And start the religion of your choice That's right. at will. Do at you think God is that stupid? Amen. He going to trust a man to start religion, and that man can't flunk mathematics? <laughs> That's right. He ain't, even giving, he ain't even getting good grades in school. <laughs> but all of a sudden, he's going to pop up and start some religion. I'm going to start a religion. He's a dummy in school. That's but, right. oh, I'm going to start religion. I'm going to start a religion. Like this one fella. Mm -hmm. He's dead now. Remember Mordecai York? Mm -hmm. He started countless of religions. Yeah. To the degree he said he was God. My Lord. And when you left his organization, they put a hit out on you. Killed you. Wow. My father divine was here back in the 1920s, back in the 1930s, and only the old heads remember that time. Yeah. Father divine said he was God, he was God. Almighty. Yeah. Daddy Grace came here, mm. who started a church called the House of Prayer for all people yeah. of the apostolic faith. He wore his hair past his shoulders, and his fingernails he wore on the inch, two inch, three inches long until they twist. And his followers will put him on a throne Lord, and Lord. carry him around the church like he's a pharaoh. My Lord. And they get rid of the name of Jesus out of every song yeah. and saying, sweet daddy is mine. Mine, mine. Sweet daddy is mine. My Lord. My Lord. Come back to Bible. That's right. And the reason why the people are successfully being duped. Yeah. You got divide and conquer. That's so right. Satan divide them by separating them from scriptures. They conquer them so he can drag everything to hell. That's right. That's why they attack me so bad. Yes, they because do. I'm in the wilderness of the world. That's right. Telling the world, right. I'm not the light. I'm not the light. But I come to bear witness of the light. That's it. Come back the Bible. That's it. Come back. That's it. Come back. Amen. Hallelujah. Go and take God. How is it then, brother? Come back. Young man, come back. That's Pull your pants up and stop showing your drawers like you're a male prostitute. That's right. Come back. You woman, stop living together, not married, like you're a neighborhood hooker. That's right. Come back. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come back. Come back. The Bible. That's right. Well, I don't believe it. Then sit still and get ready to go to hell. That's right. When you find your breath being altered and cramps run through mm. your body from the crown of your head. 
to the sole of your feet. Yeah. You'll start praying. Yes, you will. Huh? Yes, you will. You'll start praying then. You will understand. You'll understand. That you are nothing but a speck of dust here temporarily until God move you off the planet. That's right. What did he say? How is it then, brethren? Glory be to the most high God. How is it then, brother? When you come together, when you come together, every one of you has a song. Everybody got a song. Has a doctrine. Everybody got a doctrine. Has a tongue. Everybody got a tongue. Has a revelation. Amen. Look at all the preachers in the world today. Yeah. What, are, what do all of them got in common? What are they preaching? Who can tell me? Prosperity and money. Yeah. And if you read the scriptures, God have never sent no man, no man, no man. to teach the people how to get rich. No. God sent men to teach the people how to get right. That's right. You want to know how to get rich? Go to college, study, get a course under your belt, and master that course, and get a job and go to work. Right. The church is like the ark that Noah built, yeah. designed to save you from the judgment that's of God that's coming upon the world. That's right. That's what the church is for. That's right. That's right. These men ain't preachers. No. They're nothing but motivational speakers. That's it. These international mega preachers. Amen. They're not preachers. No. And this motivational speaking epidemic is going from country to country, yeah. and they'll go to poor countries and rob the poor blind. That's right. That's right. I was watching a documentary, I think was last week. They were showing this mega false prophet in Africa. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I would love to get a hold of him and beat him unmerciful with the Bible. Amen. Amen. This mega prosperity liar in Africa, amen, got men guarding him with AK 47s mm. or 45, whatever you call them, rifles. Yeah. Guarding them. Lord. With rifles. My Lord, my Lord. Guarding them with machine guns. My Lord. And ain't preaching nothing. And these are poor people yeah. giving them his money. Oh, yes. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? The African liars is rising up everywhere. Yeah. One preacher, listen, when you don't know the Bible, you can be made such a sad fool. That's true. There was one article in Africa where a false prophet, I can't think of his name, my son showed it to me, told the people he was sitting his behind on people's faces passing gas in their face my and Lord, then told Lord. the people if you take the smell home with you and keep the smell you will be prosperous and the Lord will give you money. My Lord. <sighs> my Lord, my Lord. And grown men mm. was laying on the floor while he's squatting on the face mm. passing gas. Lord. Now if you knew the Bible he couldn't get you down there. No. Oh, no. Another African liar mm. told the people that the Lord told him to go out there, for y'all to go out there and eat the fruit of the land. This man had a mega church in Africa. My Lord. And the members went out on an open field by hundreds and started on their hands and knees eating grass. My Lord. Like a cow. My Lord, my Lord. The preacher didn't do it. Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The African preachers are inspired by the American mega primps. That's right. Right here in America. That's right. Wow. That's right. And the sinners don't respect the church. No. Because the sinners know that the churches ain't nothing but a game. That's right. They don't respect no church. No. Oh, no. That's why when the sinner hear us, they say, that man crazy. Amen. He ain't like everybody else. That's right. You're right. I'm nobody ho. I can't be bought. Amen. I'm not for sale. Amen. I was made a preacher. That's right. Same God that made Paul made me a preacher. Oh, yeah. And that same spirit yes. that moved on Moses yeah. to preach to Israel. Yes. Move on me right now. That's right. Go hallelujah. The preach to the world. That's right. Go ahead. That's why we stand up against idolatry yeah. and paganism oh, yes. and heathenism. That's right. These men don't stand up against money, against nothing. nothing. In fact, they teach you it's a sin to be poor. Yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. How are you going to tell me it's a sin for me to be broke? You don't know what circumstances I fell in. That's true. That's true. 
Prosperity ain't got a thing to do with money. No. Prosperity ain't sifted around nothing you ever own. Oh, no. Prosperity is the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. That's it. When you learn who God is, God will show you who you really are. That's right. That's right. They're not preaching this. No. Jake's not preaching it. No. Alstein not preaching it. Cressler O. Penny not preaching it. That's right. None of these mega church devils. No. Get over the air. God told me that he wanted me to fly around the world and spread the gospel. So church, I want all of you. Then they go on some tongue. Super califragilist. They say, espialidocious. That's right. <laughs> and you church going suckers. Yeah. Creflo Dollar had his followers give up $300 per person. My Lord. To buy a $65 million jet My so Lord. he can spread the gospel. Spread the gospel. What gospel is he spreading? Yeah. Prosperity and money. He's money. nothing but a businessman. That's all. Nothing more. That's all. A wonderful and horrible. I, I had somebody ask me, suppose somebody gave you a private jet. Oh, I, I, I'm going to turn it down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell it. Sell it. Take all those millions and buy more churches. That's right. I can't trust nobody flying me with this message. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want nobody flying me around <laughs> on a private jet with, with, not with, with this hard preaching. No way. They may start out right. Buckle, buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> we about to climb. Next thing I know, the devil get in him at 32,000 feet. <laughs> I'm taking this. I'm taking Pastor Jennings down. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking him down. And I'm, I'm, I'm in the chair yelling. <laughs> Yelling like Kermit the Frog on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Just yelling. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I don't need no private jet. I don't need no limousine. No, all no. I need is God and God's word. That's it. That's all. That's right. That's right. That's all. That's right. Hallelujah. If you work and buy a mansion with your own money, that's your business. That's your business. But you don't rob the people to get it. That's right. If you work and buy yourself a Bentley, that's your business. That's your business. And that's your right if you can afford it. Yeah. You don't steal from the people to get it. No. These preachers are literally stealing from the people. That's right. Robbing from the people in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, I can imagine if I could, that anger on God's face when he appeared in the heavens. And he going to get even with every mega liar that took his name and pimped it. That's right. You fellas are pimping Jesus. That's right. You got the public belief that the Lord will bless you only based upon how much money you give. That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. You ain't got to have a dime. No. And God can move heaven and earth for you. That's right. You ain't got to have a penny. That's right. And God can work wonders for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? How Hallelujah. is it then, brother? Glory to God. How is it then, brother? When, when you, you come, come together, together, every one of you has a song. Every one of you got a song. That's a doctrine. You got a doctrine. See, that doctrine of prosperity contradict Jesus. Oh, yes. For Jesus said, the poor you will have with you always. Always. God ain't never purpose for everybody to be rich. No. Not at all. Not at all. If you get rich by working, that's your own business. That's right. But don't sin to get a, don't the sin to get a dime. That's right. Huh? You see what I'm telling you? Every one of you has a doctor. Every one of you. Has and a doctor. When you don't read the Bible, when you don't read. Oh, you are a victim of being seduced, that's tricked, true. con. And you find all these little pocket churches. Little that's storefront right. churches, hot pocket churches. That's right. Where these men get callings from hell and they go right in that little group of five people and yeah. fleece them. Oh, yeah. Get a that's prosperity marriage and a message and fleece them. That's true. And then they tell them they do this thing called the pyramid. Mm -hmm. You get an X amount of money, they tell you the Lord will bless. Listen, this is how far the preachers will go over social media on television. For years, preachers sometimes will pretend like people's writing them. Yeah. So they get stacks of paper. Set it on a big table on the television. <laughs> and say, look at all these thousands of letters. All these pledges that them came in. All these pledges. Amen. And they will beg you for two and three hours. Yeah. Robert Tilton was known for it yeah. in the 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah. He'll tell you, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. That's right. The Lord wants you to give. Give, give. <laughs> then he'll say, oh, the Lord, so to the Lord, so to the Lord. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you say, Lord? Yeah, that's, that's right. He said, the Lord is talking to me now. He said, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. That's right. That's right. 
When you don't know the Bible, you's a sucker. Amen. That's why they want to get me off the air. Oh, yes. Amen. Even T.D. Jakes, the board of directors wrote me. Mm. They want me off the air. Amen. They, 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 they contact the FCC. Said I'm too militant. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I, I'm a pit bull preacher. Right. Where in T.D. Snakes is just a large poodle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Seen him with a large poodle. That's right. I'm a pit bull preacher. I come with the Bible, sink my teeth in every man-made religion, yeah. and rip it to shreds. Right. T.D. Jakes don't do that. No. He's a pit bull preacher. He just bounce around. Pitbull preacher. That's right. That's right. And you little hot pocket men that got these little churches admire that trash mm -hmm. because you're too much of a lazy bum to get a job and go to work. Right. So you hijack the name of Jesus and hide under a fake calling and say you got a vision. Liar. That's a lie. You ain't even got no conscience. You're a lie on God and say God said something and he didn't. That's Give right. Lamentations. Lamentations Quickly. chapter 3. And verse 37. You're going to answer to God for this lie. That's right. You're going to answer to God, you liar. When Lamentation. you finish that, give me Jeremiah chapter 23, beginning at verse 18. Quick. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. All right. Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to Lord pass. Said God, and it come to pass. When the, when Lord, the Lord commandeth it not. He ain't said nothing. Nothing. That's right. A man, a true man of God is not an ordinary man. He's an extraordinary man. That's right. You won't get him away from the Bible, not even with a billion crowbars. <laughs> That's right. He won't preach his opinion, his idea, his philosophy. Mm -hmm. no. He'll stay within stay God's word. The, the reason why a real man of God will stay within God's word because he always is motivated to stay on good terms with God. That's right. Because he never wanted to get at odds with God and face the judgment of God. He that, never wanted. That's right. A false prophet would say anything. Yeah. He would lie and say, thus saith the Lord with no conscience whatsoever because his Lord is not the Lord of heaven. His Lord is in your wallet. That's it. Every prosperity That's preacher's right. God is in your wallet. That's right. That's why he sent you to the bank. Amen. And tell you to withdraw your money. Oh, yeah. And give it to him. Oh, yes. Who was that? Hal Campton? Remember was Hal Campton? Hal Campton. Ooh, I forgot so. what year it was. Back in 2012 or earlier, how Campton put it out internationally. Mm -hmm. and the Lord is coming such and such a year. And uh, he told all his followers, sell your house. Yep. Get rid of all your money. Yeah. And this made worldwide news. Yes, it did. How Campton followers by the thousands. How Campton said the Lord is coming such and such a date. And there's no need to own no land. That's sell true. all your money. That's right. But Hal Campton didn't sell not one piece of property right. he had, yeah. and he didn't withdraw a quarter. <laughs> Amen. The date came and left. Mm -hmm. And the news media went around the country interviewing Hal Campton followers. Some wives and husbands with children were crying. Sold their house. Lord. Had no place to live. I mean, living in the street. Mm. Sold all their land. Got rid of all their money. Some gave their money to Hal Campton. If the Lord is coming, why would you give it to him? He wouldn't need it. <laughs> That's right. I remember there was a Hispanic family, brothers and sisters that I was interviewing. And they asked, what he, he said, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, I sold everything I had. He said, I trust this man with my life. Mm. And, and, and the reporter said, the Lord didn't come. So what are you going to do? He said, so did Hal Campton lie to tell the truth? He said, I don't want to say. He's a liar. He's a liar. I say it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Feel us and you that are here. That's right. If any man pop up and said the Lord told him of any day or any year and he's coming that day, don't believe it. Don't believe it. Because the Bible speaks plain of that day and that hour. That's what the word of God says. That's right. No man, no. Nobody. Nobody. It's a mystery. But God of that day. It, God, God left it as a mystery. That's right. Read fast. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. That's what? But of that day. Of that day. And that hour. That hour. Knoweth no man. Nobody know it. No, not the angels no which are in heaven. No, no prophet. Mm. I, don't, no, I don't care what prophet come along and walk around your church shaking his hands. 
You see, you don't know God. And when these fellas get up with all these antics and dramatic, you're like, oh, man, the spirit is all over him. And he ain't nothing over him but the devil. He having a fit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He ain't doing nothing but having a fit. That's right. Walk around shaking his hand. The Lord said, 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 everybody get ready. Know that they always talk like a robot. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The Lord said, everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Jesus coming in 2025. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Ready, 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 ready. That's the right. Bible carrying sucker. Oh, yeah. Even some sinners would be like, really? <laughs> some sinners would be like, are you for real? Amen. And you get some crazy church folk who don't know the Bible. They jump up, oh, 2025, 2025. Oh, 2025, oh, 2025. Hey, you fool. Sinner be looking at you like, really? <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Glory to God. I love to make it plain. Amen. Listen at this now. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. Of that day. And that hour. Of that hour. Knoweth no man. Know it. No, not the angels which are in heaven. Neither the Son, neither the Son, but the Father. All right, give me the book of Jeremiah 23 and begin at verse 18. Quick, because my time is getting away from here. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at this. Now in Jeremiah chapter 23. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Follow me. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord? Yes. And hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath stood where God was giving advice? And hath perceived. And who hath perceived. And heard his who word? Who take God and heard. That's what I'm interested in, God's word. That's it. Uh -huh. Who hath marked his word? Who hath marked his word? His word. And heard it. And heard it. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. What? It, behold, a whirlwind, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone He's forth in fury. He's going to tear down these mega churches. That's right. He lets you go along for a little bit now. That's right. Let you build up and get all happy, but God going to bring everything down to your knees. Oh, yeah. fast. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. Uh -huh. Even a grievous whirlwind. Yes. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Yes. The anger of the Lord shall not return. God anger. Shall Listen, not. I'd rather have you angry with me. Oh, yeah. Your anger don't mean nothing. That's right. But God anger, brother, makes me tremble. That's right. At the very thought of it. Oh, yes. Because he can touch anything you have. Oh, yes. Touch your son, touch your daughter, touch your wife, touch your job. Amen. I don't care who you are, how strong you are. You can be a barbell boy, but you can't bench press God. That's right. Eh? That's right. What is that? The anger of the Lord shall not return. God's anger. Shall not return. Shall not return. Until he have executed. Until he have executed or have performed. Until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. The thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, he shall consider it perfectly. In the last days when God do it, you will understand. I have not sent these prophets. Here it is. Amen. Viewers. This is the situation you're in. You that's following right. men that fulfill that fulfill these this scripture right here. Jeremiah and 23. Some of them is your father, your husband, your brother, your uncle, your granddaddy, that's you. That's right. Your son. These fellas get under some ham and egg, black eyed pea vision. It has some pig ears and llama beans and blood pressure shot up and started seeing spots and thought it was angels visiting them. <laughs> that's right. Blood pressure all up and saw lights and they just sitting there looking at them. Amen. Next thing you know, they're yelling. Angels! That's right. Angels! Sound like me, Pastor. No, it's your blood pressure. Yes. That fat back got you. Yes. Hey! That's right. Too much pork you got? Too much pork. <laughs> you got too much pork. That's right. Too much salt in your blood. That's right. Bless the name of the Most High. I have not sent these prophets. I want you to get this. A lot of you have a pork chop bishop, a pork That's chop right. apostle, a ham and egg elder, and a bacon deacon. That's right. Saw all these lights because their blood pressure is up. Amen. And they talking about angels from heaven. No, that's just too much fat back in his blood. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Come on, son. Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. What is it? I have not sent these prophets. God talking. Amen. What is a prophet? Messenger. Yeah. Now let's get an understanding, Boston, Massachusetts, and you that are watching. Yeah. Do you really think, just look at the messengers of the scriptures. This is your guideline. This is your map. Right. This is your example. This is your pattern of good works. That's right. That's right. Look at when God sent men in the Bible. Yeah. Look at what they preach and compare it with what men preach today. That's right. It's not the same. No. God sent men to warn you to stop, up, to stop your wickedness. Break up your folly ground.
turn away from sin, That's right. turn away from evil, right. get on God's side to escape his judgment, right. escape the punishment and the wrath of the creator of the world. Yeah. When these men done with you today, you don't, never, you don't even know it's judgment. That's true. You don't know nothing about God's wrath because the only thing they got, the way they paint this picture, right here is heaven. Yeah. And God want everybody to have Rolls Royces, <laughs> Bentleys, right. fine jets, and that is the blessings of God. That's right. That's right. All of those things will pass away yeah. with everyone that uses it. Oh, yes. There are a lot of wealthy men that died. Yeah. But many of you young people never heard of Onassis. Yeah. When Onassis was living, he was an oil tycoon. He was the richest man in the world. Oh, yeah. John F. Kennedy, who was the president of the 60s, who died the same year I was born, 63, when he got assassinated years later, his wife, Jackie Kennedy, married Onassis, That's right. who was an oil tycoon. And when Onassis was living, he was the richest man in the world. In the world. Onassis died, yeah. but oil was still here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Rich men come and go. Oh, yes. Which lets you know the answer is not in wealth. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. So the devil sent men to program you to be materialistic junkies, which is nothing but a religious distraction from the reality of God. That's right. God made you to live for him. Yeah. If you work and get rich, if God bless you that way, fine. fine. But if you have riches, don't ever let riches have you. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I have not sent these prophets. The Lord said, I ain't sent these fellows out here. I ain't sent these preachers. Yet they ran. Oh, they're running too. Oh, yes. They're running from one end of America to the other. They're running all over the place. And then they say their ministry is blessed. And if you take note, they always center the blessings of their ministry based upon what they got. Right. They house. That's right. Preachers that say, if the Lord bless you, you have a house like mine. That's what yeah. they tell you. Oh, yeah. They say, look at my car. Yeah. My car is an example of what God can do for you. No, it ain't. No. I don't want to steal to get what you got. That's right. If you drive a Bentley and I drive one, I want to get mine honestly. Yeah. But I don't want my Bentley to have me. Right. In other words, if I get a Bentley, yeah. if that Bentley going to change my mind towards God, I don't need it. Yeah. In fact, anything you get, if it's going to alter your walk with God, yeah. you don't need it. That's right. Make God your top priority. That's right. And make God the greatest priority in your whole life. Amen. Everything else is second. Oh, yes. Are you listening to me? I have not sent these prophets. And this is what these preachers should be preaching. Yeah. But God said, I didn't send them. So if God didn't send them, somebody did. Somebody did. And the only one left is the devil. That's right. Huh? I have not sent these prophets yet what? Yet they reign. Oh, they're out there too. Amen. Hands over their ears, spitting and hollering, hanging out with movie stars. Mm -hmm. huh? That's, That's right. why Joel Alstein, Kanye West can come in there with his old satanic choir, live like the devil and get, get all the wives all they want, make all the babies they want. And, while, and Joel Alstein just sit right there looking at them perform. <laughs> That's right. Then we enjoy Kanye. <laughs> That's right. Then we enjoy Kanye. That's right. Let me tell you religious fake or something. You <laughs> think these R&B singers and these entertainers and movie stars just because they sing some so-called Christian music or mention the name Jesus, you that much of a sucker think if they sing a song and mention Jesus, that makes them a Christian? Mm. Jesus is a lifestyle. That's it. It ain't just a name in your mouth. Preach it. It's a lifestyle. That's it. Wonderful, brother. You can sing about his name, yeah. but if you don't live up to his teaching, your name ain't worth a dime. That's right. Wonderful. It's a lifestyle. Wonderful, man. You ready to call somebody a Christian because they use the name Jesus. Amen. Snoop Dogg now I'm talking about something. I'm, I'm one of Jesus' chosen ones. Liar! That's a lie. How in the world you one of Jesus' chosen ones that got your own porn? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Got your own porn, making your own porn tapes, still smoking your weed? Still smoking. Mm. I, I want to, so here, here make a, a song with Jesus. Yeah. Throw the name Jesus in there and still. Right. <laughs> it's, right. the, the, it, it's, it's, it's the Snoop bounce. It's the, it's, 
no, no, no steps in particular. No. It's just a snoop bounce. That's right. The bounce is telling you, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, I'm the devil. I'm the devil. My Lord, my Lord. So the so-called gospel singers, yeah. they get pure sinners on their albums. For what? For what? They are willing to sell out on God if it will sell their product. That's right. The Bible says you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. How are you going to cross paths with the devil Go to ahead. serve God's purpose? That's right. You're either on God's side or you're not. Or you're not. Entertainers come to many of our meetings all the time. NBA players, the NFL players. What do I care? Amen. I don't give them no special seat Amen. at all. No, you don't. You ain't nothing but dust to me. That's right. That's all. That's it. I don't care how many millions you got. I'm not impressed. No. Why? Because you ain't got more than the Lord. Amen. Heaven and earth is his. Yeah. But we're take God and everything in it. That's right. My job as a minister of Jesus Christ is to prepare you to meet God. Meet God. Not to prepare you to get rich and That's wealthy right. and all that stuff. Go get a job. Go to school. Go That's to work. It. My job is to prepare you to meet the Lord. Finish up Jeremiah so I can knock off. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. Yes. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Uh -huh. But if they had stood in my counsel yes. and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way. All right. And from Give the, me here, brother, real quick. And from the evil of their doing. Wait a minute. If they was what? But if they had stood in my counsel. You see, my job is to stand in God's counsel. These men are supposed to be standing in God's counsel. Right. And what? And it caused my people. And it's supposed to cause God's people to hear God's word. Then they should have turned them from their evil way. Wait a minute. Mm. These men ain't turning nobody from their evil way. No. They got dances and social parties right in churches. That's true. Right in churches, social parties. That's true. Dances. Right. Social parties and dances right in the church. Amen. They're not turning nobody. No. And then the people are so used to it until they're like, wow. And then if a church don't have it, they say, man, I ain't down with that church. Yeah. I ain't down with that church. I like a church that can party. Yeah. I like a church that can jam. That's right. So you go to the main auditorium and talk about Jesus, then go down to the fellowship hall and slow drag, bumping and grinding with your girlfriend. My Lord. And then when I preach against it, you know what they say all over social media around the world? He's an extremist. <laughs> That's right. He's an extremist. Yes, no, I'm a will. Bible preacher. That's right. I believe that Bible. That's it. You will never get me from that Bible. No. I am hooked on the Bible. I shoot up with scripture. That's it. I, 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 I shoot up with scripture. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's all I'm interested in. That's all I don't care what you drive. I don't care what you own. All I know is when you walk this planet... You must live a life to please God because you're here for a while and soon you're going to be gone. Going to be gone. Give me, give me, go back to where we were, to the foundation of it. Amen. Real quickly back now. Back in 1 so Corinthians 1 and verse 12. All right. Now this I say that every one of you saith, I am a Paul. I am a Paul. And I have Apollos. I am Apollos. And I have Cephas. I am of Cephas. And I have Christ. What? Is Christ divided? That's what I'm asking you, viewers. That's right. All these religions out here, the devil have put these religions out to bring division. Yeah. And God sent me along. I said, God did it. Not no board of directors or some cheap seminary school. I never took a Bible course since I've been black. And I've been black 59 years. And last time I checked, I ain't changing color. <laughs> That's right. 